Today is 302 of Days of Science, and it is May 16, 2022, and it is a Monday. So I started Data Science today at school um, in Deep Notes because Google Collaboratory is blocked at school for some reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and transfer that over here to Google Collaboratory. Um, this is day 302. I usually just copy and paste it, so at this point I don't even know how I do it. 16th. What? I can't even spell. Wait. May. Yo, I'm literally not in it today. May 16th, 2022. It is a Monday, and I think we are in week 46 now, right? Maybe so. Week 46. Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the code. So right now, all I have is Matplotlib imported, which is a visualization library. I have Seaborn imported, which is also a visualization library. Um, I use plt.subplots, um, which is a Matplotlib function that basically um, allows you to create um, a figure that has multiple graphs inside. Um, yeah, so what I think I'm going to do today, instead of using a data frame or um, anything else, I think I'm going to create my own data. So I'm going to import the random function. And what I'll do is I'll do random dot, I think you say randint is the function, maybe, possibly so. If not, it's fine. So it takes two parameters, um, the lower point and the upper point. So I think I'm going to start with 0 and then 10, and it should return an array of those numbers. And if not, it's because, okay, great, that's amazing. Um, but I don't want to just return 1. I want an array. So how do I do that? Yes, <laughs> that. Randin, but that's what I did. Three times lower and lower the size. Oh, and I think okay, so it takes in a size. So the third is a size. No, yes, maybe so. That's what I said. Size twenty. Is it not a size? Okay. Let's see. Random parameters. Sorry, you spell it. Start end, and then there's another one, right? Random dot random zero ten. Random dot random. Nope. Array of random numbers, Python. Mm -hmm. That's isn't that what I said though? Isn't that what I said? Oh my god, five hours later. This isn't my first time using random. I just it's the first time in a long time. So essentially, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, so random.randint, and isn't this, no, it's not what I said, and then, so I guess we could start at 1, 10, and then 9, it's supposed to give me an array, I don't know why it's not working, I did give three positional arguments, what are you talking about, there's three inside here, don't tell me I have to import, this is really weird, hold on, let me see. Can I import here? Import random. Random dot randint zero ten. So it should return a number between zero to ten. If I run it. Okay. Are you kidding? Are you like kidding me right now? What do you mean for we're given? I, there's literally only. You're joking. Is it not start is equal to like one, and is equal to ten, and then size is equal to like. Eight. I want eight random numbers. Why is this so hard? I don't understand. What was I doing again? Okay, size equal to like eight. Can we just run this? I don't understand why it's so hard. 
is it not start like that's how they had it oh, oh my god random parameters okay where is the official documentation like i don't want no geeks for geeks where is the official documentation oh wait i thought it was so it's numpy not oh it's a numpy library and did it even spell it right random hmm so it's a numpy hold on Hmm. Are you kidding me? Are you like kidding me? So can we repeat this 5,000 times? Like, okay, can I say for, okay, let's create a variable and called like 100. So for i in n, do random dot random one to 10, and then have like um, a list, my x values gonna be that and it's gonna be whatever this is my number I'm gonna do my x values dot append num so 100 times you're joking you're joking what do you mean what do you mean for I in n or for I in oh this sucks while n is less than 100 so let's do zero so then do n plus equal one did i do it so now if i look at my x values okay well that's what i wanted yes but still there must be another parameter that just does that for me like what the heck so rude okay fine so now that I have my x values, thank god, um, what was I going to do again? I was going to plot it, right? So let's do sns.hisplot, and hopefully we have repeating numbers. We should, though, because there's a lot of, um, I only did a short range. Okay, good. And I'm going to set this as ax is equal to graph 1. Whoops. Okay, and then I'll do SNS his plot. Um, I'll do x values two and set ax equal to graph two, and I'll just do like this again. We don't need this. I'll just set this to two. I should give us a different distribution. What now? What now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because, oh yeah, okay, because so far it's at 100, so we need to set it to zero again. Okay, so it's not the same distribution, but it's good. That's the goal, not to have the same distribution. So do we want to make the width or the height? I think I'm going to do like 8.5. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I meant 14.5. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's too thick. I don't like it. Let's do 10.8. I hate that. 10.4 much better okay um so yeah so this would be graph one dot set 
title. Um, this is distribution. Um, distribution of random numbers from one to ten. Um, maybe we can do the second one to be from ten to twenty. Or, instead of 10 to 20, I could do, like, 1 to 5. Now, I'll do this one to be 1 to 10. Oops. And then I'll do the first one to be 1 to 5. So, I'm assuming that this one is going to be more heavier than this one. Because this one's going to be more distributed. Um, or variant, I guess. From 1 to 5. And then... This one will be from 1 to 10. So if I run that, it's obviously going to give me a different distribution each time. Um, so yeah. But here's the thing. Interesting. Interesting. What if I do 1 to 10? And then this one I'll do like 1 to 30. I guess that works. Um, graph two. All right. So so far, I've done. Um, I've plotted graphs using pandas data, like from a data frame directly from a data frame. So that's like real world application. Um, in past videos that we're talking about today. Um, I've also used. Um, I've plotted normal distributions. I've plotted like straight from Matplotlib. So like if I wanted to use a plot function from that volume I just did what the um I just did like graph one dot plot instead of plt dot plot and I plotted the normal distribution I've done that um and then today I plotted random numbers so just kind of like we do lin space to create an array of random numbers I use randint to create um my own array my own list actually not an array of random numbers because x values two and x values are lists not arrays Um, and I think this is not the most efficient way. I'm telling you that there is, what is, like, first of all, where is the documentation? Like, the actual no documentation for this function? Like, this is crazy. <gasps> Ooh, cute. That's really nice. That's really, really great, actually. Okay. Bookkeeping, random.seed. Didn't, haven't I used this also? Oh, yes, that's, that's, oh, that's like the random state. Like, when you take um, stats and you have to put, like, a random state to get certain, to get, like, the same amount, the, like, the same random, it's kind of counterintuitive. To get the same random values, you want to use a seed. So that's good. Um, get state, set state, ran bytes, ran range. Um, not really random, return a random integer, and such that a is less than or equal to n, blah, 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 b plus 1. But isn't there, I thought there was a third parameter. It was crazy. I mean, I've used this one, definitely. <laughs> hmm. What's the difference between numpy dot lin space versus num versus random dot um random lin space you have three parameters the start stop and then the size so start is the number you want to start with and is the number you want to end with and then how many values you want in between and it gives you an array of those values but they're not random values they're literally v values in order right I'm just like thinking out loud. Let me just kind of code this real quick. So if I import numpy, and I'll do like numpy or np dot lin space, and let's say I want values from one to ten, and I want like a hundred values in between, it's going to give me an array, right, of starting with one, and then if I scroll down, it's going to again, it's going to end with ten, and it's going to give me a hundred values in between. 
but notice that they're in number order. So one, and then we have our twos, and then we have our threes, and our fours, and then our fives, and our six, and so on. That's lin space. It's not like random numbers. While if I do import random, <gasps> is it because I is it because it's a capital R? Is that why it wasn't working? No, I doubt it because it does it was working, duh. Whatever. Anyway. Import random. I don't think it's is this supposed to be? Okay. And I'll do random dot random. And then it's kind of the same thing. I'll start with one and with ten, but apparently there's not a size. Like I can't tell it. It's just gonna give me one number, which is so weird. But it is random. But if I do a for loop, right? If I do not a for loop, excuse me, a while loop, and I tell it to repeat 100 times, like I'll set, okay, the number of times 100. And then I'll do while n is less than, actually, I'll set it to zero. Sorry, my bad. Zero, right? Well, n is less than zero, then do random dot random from one to 10, right? And set that to, let's say, a number, and then add that number to a certain, um, to my array, which is actually, sorry, my list, not my array. So my list of numbers. So I'll do list dot append, which means to add, and I'll add that number each time as long as n is less than 100. And how do we change n? So after doing that, we're going to do n plus equal to one so that's going to make n two so after doing this one time then n is going to be two and after doing this 99 times then n is going to be 100 because well after doing this 99 times once you do it the 99th time well not yet once you do it the hundredth time n is finally going to be 100 and then it's not going to satisfy this so it's going to stop at 100 so basically we're creating a hundred um a hundred random values and you can see them here you can see them here a hundred random values and then we plotted them there but there must be a parameter that just takes the size that just takes if i want 100 then i'll do 100 why is it how is that like not working out like i'm so confused that's like so weird what if I create my own function that does that? Because apparently, like, it just takes two. Oh my god, this is so weird. Um, random method in Python. Lower limit, upper limit, but why can't I do this 5,000 times? This is, like, not helping. See, they did... They did the same thing. Why is it not just, why isn't there like a thing where we could just do, I don't understand. See, so they did the same thing, except that I gave it an N. I did more code than I needed to. So I guess I could rewrite that nicely. Um, so what is it? What did they use? They did for I in range 100, same thing, just do that. So do this 100 times basically. And I'll just copy this. And just move this over here at the bottom and then just delete all of this delete this run that and I should also do the same thing um all right so I think I'm gonna create a function myself that does this because I'm quite annoyed of what happened oh, okay I meant to close this out and close this out so what I'll do is I'll create a function called random list of numbers I'm very straightforward right now so I'll take up um, start end and then I'll do size and then I'll just import random in here and then I'll use um, random dot randint and I'll do start end and And then I'll do for I in range size, right? Give it a number. 
and then have like a list empty list up here and then for I for I guess for number for number in range or for number in range size so size or how many numbers for number in size or for yeah for I in size number is equal to that and then we can do list dot append number and then yeah and then just return that um list and then we do random list of numbers whoops um and then i'll do okay i'll start at one i want to end at 10 and then i want a size of 100 and then make sure to print the return of this function and it should give me a really nice list of 100 numbers isn't that really beautiful see i solved my own problem literally ain't got no time for documentation because it literally wasn't clear like how are you gonna tell me i have a start and an end but then only use it for one like no like no thank you so yeah here's my function we love this and then i can set this function right i can set it equal um if i were to do this right now i can go here and i can be like okay my x values that i'm gonna plot are going to be equal to that right and then i could um i could run that and then i could do sns.hisplot and just plot those x values and i'll plot the histogram of that see so that is the distribution those are all those numbers plotted so how many twos do i have about like 20. so that's kind of um what that is so i think that's a great thing that we learned today we figured out today um is there anything else that i wanted to add um not really so do we have though hmm yeah so x values random list of numbers and i think that works out so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this function so that i don't lose it um and just kind of log it in my data science logs which i don't even think i post anymore i don't think i post not the data science logs like the notion i have for data science because i don't do notion for data science because everything it's kind of its own notebook already in google collaboratory um so i think that's it for today so yeah let me just go over here um to data science functions um i created a new one i'm gonna go over here I'm gonna create a code snippet. I'm gonna call it. It's already in Python. Okay, good. I'm just gonna put that in there. Um, today is day. What is it? 302? 301? 302. Um, tags. Function. Duh. Um, I'm gonna. What did I call it? Random. list of numbers yes and purpose create a random list of numbers that can be used um, as can that can be used for anything really but for my purposes that can be used to plot so in this case a random list of number would be equivalent to like a column so I think actually, actually, maybe I can do this whole so import pandas as PD and I can do um, maybe X values to series and I'll like turn it into a column. Let's see this. I'll just PD. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be like that. Or maybe does PD. So is it PD dot two series? And then can I do X values? I don't think it works like that. Hmm. 
Nope, it's X value, it's not X value. Dun, 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 dun. Pandas 2 series. Yes, it does. Wait, pandas 2 series. It literally does, I'm telling you it does. Um, pandas 2 series. What? No, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. Oh, PD dot series. Oh, there is a two list. That's how I, yeah, I know that, but PD series. Oh, okay. Well, it wouldn't make sense to do two lists because it has two series, so I guess. Okay, so now it's a, it's a thing now. And so if I create like data PD dot data frame, I can set, okay, um, let's say these are like, grades and then I can set it to um grades Let's see if that works whoops close parentheses data okay see so it's the same thing. So what I basically did was create a random, actually, you know what I should do though? I'm gonna take this function again and I'm just gonna put it up here and I'm gonna do something that makes more sense. So grades are usually from zero to 100. And let's say I want, I have a class of 20 students. So I'm gonna do a size of 20. So I only want 20 random numbers from zero to 100. So let me go ahead and change that run that okay wow that's crazy so and if i run that now right remember because i set this to actually i didn't hold on whoops i can just simply do this over here and then i could just print if i want to see them actually i don't have to see them but Okay, run that and then go over here and they should change, right? So we have values from 0 to 100. And I'm pretty sure if I want to see everything, pd.set option or option, option, um, display, display dot row, display full row. I forgot how to do this. Hold on. Um, how to display all rows in pandas. Display, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? No, that's not it. That's not it. Right here, display dot max rows. That's what I have. Display dot max rows. And then... None. What was none again? Why do we even have to do none again? I don't remember why. None, okay. It's because I can't think, can I? It's a capital letter, Sarai. Okay, there we go. Now it should display the data and all the rows of the data. So now we can see all of those grades. Wait, but I said 100, not, so I have to do it from the beginning. Interesting. But why are there a hundred? I didn't say. Oh, because I didn't change. Duh. Ridiculous. Okay, one second. This thing's frozen. Whoops, 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 whoops. 20. I said 20. 20 grades. Thank you very much. Now we have 20. Oh, but notice actually, mm, interesting. So if I want a size, it actually, what it does, it takes, actually, yeah, it gives me 20 grades. Yeah, that's perfect. So because it starts with zero, remember that. So I have 20 grades in my class and someone got a five, someone got an eight, someone got a two. Well, that wouldn't really make sense. It's because, oh, I still have it as a 10. See, I was like, I'm still like out of it, y'all. Okay, run that, now the grade should make a little bit more sense. So someone got an 84, someone got a 16, 
Someone got a 56, a 26, an 82, a 43, a 54, etc. So I think this is pretty cool. I basically, um, you know, instead of like having to download some data, I just made my own data. I just was like, okay, let me create a random list of numbers that I can give a start, an end, and then a size, so how many numbers I want, and then convert that list, right, where I put the numbers into a panda series. And then from there, I could also do the same. I can do um, sns.hist and then just target that series from the data set and just run that. Is it grades or grade? It's capital G. Okay, run that again and it should work and it should give you, you know, the same histogram. But here it's actually different. So if I were to just do this. It's the same thing, right? Because it's the same thing. So you could either, you know, you could, there's, if you don't want to work with data frames, that's fine. You could just leave it as a list and call it X values and plot that. But I usually like working with data frames. I like making everything data frames because I love pandas and I'm really good. Pandas is like the one, like it's my library. Like I, that's, you know, it's like my library. It's like the library that I have the most knowledge in, um, in Python, like at all. So i my comfort zone, my safe zone in Python is pandas. So I like to turn everything into series and data frames because I work best with Python. I mean, with pandas. So yeah, but yeah, so I just do data, um, grades, right? Because I converted it to a pandas series. A pandas series is the same thing as a column and it's the same as just doing x values. So yeah, so this was a little bit of experimenting, like kind of like a study and I'm really proud of this. It's really good. I'm really, really excited. Okay, this was really great actually. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really proud. All right, anyway, um, maybe actually I can make a function that takes a random list of numbers and creates a pandas column from that. But I could just do that myself. No, I can't though. Actually, can I? Actually, what's another way? I'm going crazy. Okay, import pandas as pd. I could do data pd dot data frame. Um, another way I could do this is if I do grades, and then I think if I just put in the function right here, maybe that would work. I don't know if it's, if I can put, I can put x values. I could also put, hold on. Yeah, that works too, but you know, it's easier to, see, it also works. So that's another way you could do that. Um, I did it by just putting, I converted it to a series first, but I think even another way that I can do that, if I know that this is equal to X values and I can just also do, um, grades and then set it to the list called X values, right? And we'll do the same thing. So those are different ways to do it. It's very exciting. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and do this to make sure to log everything is right. I'm going to close this out. Um, do I want to add the code here? Not really. Um, close this out. Mm, do I want to share this? Maybe share to web. Allow duplicate? No. Allow comments? Yes. Sure. We'll search and then no, no, no. Copy. Just paste that in there once it wants to load um these are just things convert python list i already knew that though just forgot um okay it's no okay really it's like frozen okay let me open that up over here what was this again oh the notion for my function Anyway, that's it for today. Bye.